Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jay Mehta here from Mumbai. In this master class, we are going to speak about vitrification of human blastocyst embryos. Vitrification is basically a technique of rapid freezing. As you see, we have three solutions. The basal solution, which was BS, which we normally don't use. And here are the two solutions. One is ES, that's the equilibration solution. And second is the vitrification solution. The droplets of equilibration solution are taken on one of your plates. The plate should not be at 37 degrees. That is something which is important. The average size of the drops which we take is going to be around 35 microliters. What is important to understand is that these solutions typically contain three important molecules. One is dimethyl sulfoxide, DMSO. Second is ethylene glycol. And third is sucrose. All of these are very well known cryoprotectants across all industries. Right from the food industry to automobile industry to semiconductor industry till fertility industry. All these are known cryoprotectants. What is important is that equilibration solution contains typically sucrose in a slightly lesser concentration. That is why you need adequate exposure in the equilibration solution. This exposure is usually going to be around 12 to 14 minutes. What actually this sucrose does is that it combines with the lipid layer present on the cells. Thereby, when the cells undergo dehydration, there is no damage. Remember, if you dehydrate any human cell, it is going to necrose, it is going to die. You do not want the human embryos to die. And as a result of this, this vitrification procedure allows for controlled exposure of cryoprotectants. This is the most important thing. After you have selected your blastocyst embryos, the embryos are then loaded inside the equilibrium drops. Of course, the laminar airflow has to be on, the ambient air temperature has to be around 20-25 degrees and one needs extremely good, quick and swift hand skills. You need all three of them to do this procedure nicely. This vitrification is a very, very operator dependent and an operator driven procedure. A good operator will have extremely good outcomes as far as vitrification is concerned. Simultaneously, in the hands of a good operator, the survival rates following cryoprotection of these embryos is going to be extremely good. This is something which has to be learned. This is something which has to be practiced because only after enough practice, you will be able to do cryoprotection or vitrification very nicely. As you can see, the embryos are aspirated using a 300 microliter pipette and the embryos get loaded in the equilibrium solution. Once the embryos are loaded in the equilibrium solution, they are tossed in the solution 4 to 5 times. You will see here we have two good blastocyst embryos and these embryos will slowly begin to shrink because the water content gets exposed out, permeated out and the cryoprotectants go in. After 12 to 13 minutes, they are then shifted to the vitrification solution. Now, vitrification solution has higher concentration of cryoprotectant. Cryoprotectant is otherwise toxic. That is why exposure to the vitrification solution is going to be for approximately a minute. In this one minute, the straw or the cryolock or the cryomat or the cryotip, whatever you call it, is prepared. This structure has a gutter inside that black dot. We are going to show that black dot inside the microscope and the embryo gets loaded inside the gutter. Here is the actual skill. Once that one minute of vitrification is finished, you need to pick the embryo up, load it and the surrounding cryoprotectant fluid should ideally be less than one microliter. Once you've achieved that, you will allow good permeation of the cryoprotectants which can then be vitrified. Whenever you vitrify these embryos, ice crystal formation inside the embryos is going to be avoided and these embryos are going to have excellent survival rates once they are vitrified very nicely. You can see these are the embryos in the vitrification solution. They've got further more shrunken as 
they were as compared to before in the equilibrium solution and now in the final step the embryos are going to be picked up from the vitrification solution these embryos are going to be loaded on the cryotop and then they are going to be immediately plunged in liquid nitrogen within one second this straw is then located in one of the cryo tanks it is labeled so that there is a patient coding and identification and further processing for the embryo is then done and informed to the patient thank you so much for viewing this entire masterclass